Hey, David, how was the trip to Italy? Hi, Ash. The trip was good. But actually, it would be better if you can write my name and the place properly cased. But I guess it's fine because, well, you are my friend. I agree, David. But let me give you some numbers. Amazon sells more than 20 million products on its website. And if we include Amazon Marketplace, the number touches around 350 million. Airbnb has around 6.1 million listings on its platform. <clears throat> Booking.com has been uh, listing more than 200,000 hotels on their platform. And I'm sure there are a lot of reviews on IMDb as well. To have a very good user experience, it's really important to have properly cased descriptions or text on the website. Let me give you one more example. <clears throat> You see on the left side of the screen, there is a snapshot of a listing on Airbnb. The zoomed view of one of the descriptions we can see on the right-hand side. And in that description, you see a lot of point of interest which are wrongly cased. Now, what is a point of interest? The definition of a point of interest in this context for us is, it can be a name of a city, can be a name of, name of a place, a bar, a cafe, <clears throat> an organization, a person. So it's really important to have proper casing over here. If we will not have this, then these are the uh, stumbling blocks that business can have. Uh, less traffic, <clears throat> maybe because the title itself is not properly cased. People might lose interest in the listing, lower conversion rate of the product or of the listing. So how about we deliver a POI v casing tool? No matter if your casing is improper, improper, we run it through a, a API or a black box, and then you get a properly case description. Well, that is what we have been doing from the last eight in the last eight weeks. A warm greetings to everyone. Me, Yash Taksena, along with my colleague David Duque, have been working on a machine learning based POI v casing tool, and we have been getting the support from Airbnb and Pi School. The data that we have got is from Airbnb, a millions of listing we are getting. And one really important thing to mention over here is we want this vCasing tool, not just in English language, but in multiple languages, should work for different languages as well. This is a distribution of some language, uh, of the uh, dis uh, descriptions of multiple languages that we have. Now to explain the solution, what we have been doing, David will take over and we'll walk you through. All yours, David. Okay, thanks, Yash. Well, for the solution, what we have uh, used is uh, some transformer-based pre-trained model. Uh, actually, when you hear the word transformer, you may think in the image that is in the upper part of the slide, but they look more like the image in the bottom part of the slide, which is even funnier, by the way, because what you get is as input some words and what you get as an output is a meaningful representation in terms of, of numbers, which could be used for further uh, tasks. So we have assessed three main models, main, main pre-trained models, which are BERT from Google, Excel M. Roberta from Facebook, and ExcelNet from Carnegie Mellon University and Google. So going up deeper into the solution, what we get are English sentences uh, which may or may not contain some point of interest. Here, the, proper, the problems in the casing are a bit exaggerated, but it's just to illustrate uh, the, the problem that we, we, we could have. So uh, the, the, the sentence is fed to the black box that we already mentioned, those pre-trained models. And what we get out of, of this black box are some set of numbers which are meaningful and which represent what the word means. So those set of numbers are then used in a classification model, which were trained in order to detect if the set of number corresponds to a point of interest or not. So let's see a bit, uh, let, let's see the results. So as I mentioned, as I already mentioned, we have trained our model only using English, English text. So if we, if we assess uh, this model into unseen English sentences, we get from for some models very uh, good results. 
we get pretty high recall and pretty high precision, uh, which basically means that uh, we are correctly detecting eight to nine points of interest out of 10 true points of interest. And from 10 detected points of interest, eight to nine I, are true points of interest. And uh, well, this is done in English. This is performed in English, uh, which is the language we have trained on. But what would happen with, an, uh, with a, another language? An entirely new language which has not been seen during the training. And we have assessed this with some Spanish uh, sentences. And we have, we have gotten pretty high results as well. Very high recall, very high precision, which are comparable to the language that we already train on. So uh, in, in what, what we are getting is a kind of transfer learning between languages because we, we were training in English and we can actually use the same model to detect point of interest in Spanish and it will be true for multiple languages. Uh, isn't it amazing? We're, the thing is that uh, Airbnb needs a proper tool that recase or that, that finds point of interest into multiple languages. So yeah, it, it, it is a great model and it is a great tool. Uh, we, we are Jack Saxena, who is a data scientist, and me, David Duque. Uh, and we would like to thank High School and our sponsors, Airbnb and, and Translated, for letting, letting us be part of this project. Thank you very much for your attention.